Hey, it's Min. Welcome to part three of my three-part video series on verbal bullying. I'm kind of sad this is over. How about you? I hope it's been helpful. So anyhow, let's recap. In video one, we had talked about why it is you may be getting verbally bullied, which is you're probably showing socially submissive behaviors, which cause people to target you. In video two, we had talked about how to eliminate certain parts of these socially submissive behaviors, in particular, the verbal ones. Now in this video three, we're gonna talk about another aspect, which are also signals of social submission that you need to eliminate so that people will no longer target you and you can eliminate verbal bullying for good. And that is body language cues, negative, socially submissive body language. Okay, so here are the body language signals that kind of paint you as a victim or a target of verbal bullying. Fidgeting, looking stressed or anxious, poor or submissive eye contact, slouching or poor posture, playing with your hands, closed or protective body language, quick and shifty body language. So like movements that are too quick and reactive. Okay, when you move, you wanna be slow, and control. So for example, if someone yells out your name, you don't want to be like, right? You want to, when someone yells your name, you kind of take your time turning around, okay? And looking at them. So anyhow, that wraps it up. That wraps up part three in this entire series of verbal bullying. The one aspect I didn't talk about very much was how do you defend yourself verbally? Okay, we talked about body language and we talked about other verbal cues, but we didn't talk about how do you defend yourself from someone verbally in terms of content. If you want to learn more, check out my free ebook, Verbal Self-Defense 101. The URL is down below. Please check that out. It's free and I think it'll be very, very helpful. Best wishes to you.